Hey there, Ram fans. I'm Sydney Wicker. And I'm Kyle Witter. And we're here with CTV Sports, where CSU just wrapped up their game against the UNC Bears here in Moby Arena. The final score of this game was 53-47, where UNC was able to top Colorado State. What were some of your takeaways today, Kyle? Well, one thing I definitely noticed about the this CSU Rams team this year is they're a very young team. Last year, they lost three of their seniors, and basically what that means is you've got people who have been playing together for two, three, four years, and they know how to play with each other, they know their chemistry with each other, and um, they know how to win games, basically, in the end is how that works. With this team, you've got three people, at least three people, replacing those seniors, um, which basically means they're, they're learning how to play with each other, they're learning how to work with each other, um, and it's kind of a building year for the program. So um, that's kind of one of the things that I've noticed about this team from the very beginning. Yes, for sure. I know Stina Oskulin, who's now uh, an assistant coach for the CSU basketball team, she was a huge scorer for the Rams last year. So was Hannah Traverti. Both of them working with their chemistry on the court, they were constantly able to score together and shoot and work their way in the back of the net, which was huge for them, and that's what won them a lot of games. So this team's got a lot of learning to do, a lot of chemistry building that they have to work on. But Molly Mouncey, who's kind of earned the name Molly McBuckets this year, she was held by the Bears tonight. She only shot 3 for 12 and she ended up only having eight points, which is one of her lowest scoring games for the season. And then Lord Devo, who had a game for herself, she had 14 total points. That was the only high score for CSU tonight. So the Bears definitely put a stop at their shooting game tonight. Yeah, definitely. And the on the other side of the line, you've got the Bears, whose top scorer, um, Michaela Eisenhart, she scored six of nine inside the white. Um, and while the Bears had a lower scoring percentage, then the Rams, they definitely made more shots on goal, so they were able to get that ahead of the Rams. Yes, for sure. I know Alexis Chapman also was able to score quite well for the Bears. She had 13 total points for tonight. Mm -hmm. But CSU will have a chance to try and turn around their season where they're currently 1-2 and two overall when they take on Cornell on Sunday here at Moby Arena. With CTV Sports, I'm Sydney Wicker. And I'm Kyle Witter. Have a great night, Ram fans.